3.1 says calculate the gradient of a b so here's a b here we have point a here and point b here and then the line goes on until point c but then we don't have coordinates for point a so we cannot use uh, m of a b is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 we also don't have coordinates of c uh, but then we have the angle of inclination of line a b c right so since we have the angle of inclination we can use uh, tan theta is equals to the gradient of a b right we are allowed to do this from here we can then say that tan of 45 degrees is equals to the gradient of a b so the gradient of a b will be tan of 45 degrees is one so the gradient of a b is equals to one and that's how you do that question and then 3.2 says show that the value of k is minus six uh, k is the y coordinate of point a right and then since we have the gradient of a b we can use the gradient formula to find the coordinate of k so what we can say here for 3.2 we can say that uh, the gradient of a b is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now it's on us to decide which point we take as point two and which point we take as point one so let's take uh, b as point two and then a as point one you can do it the other way around it still works so the y coordinate of b is minus two so we're gonna have minus two minus the y coordinate of a which is k all divided by x2 x2 the x coordinate of a of b which is 8 minus the x coordinate of a which is 4 and then we know that m of a b is 1 that is the gradient right so we have 1 is equals to minus 2 divided minus k divided by 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 that is 4 we cross multiply we get 4 is equals to minus 2 minus k take minus 2 to the other side you get 6 is equals to minus k divide both sides by minus 1 so minus 6 is equals to k and that is exactly what we are asked to show so now the coordinates of a we have 4 and minus 6 right k is minus 6 and then let's move to 3.2 3.2 says determine the equation of ea in the form y is equals to mx plus c so let's look for ea so here's ea here ea ea is said to be parallel to fb as we can see from the lines and so fine let's say 3.3 and then we know that y is equals to mx plus c so we need m and c right but we can find the gradient of ea right the gradient of ea will be equals to the gradient of fb since line ea is parallel to line fb and then we have the equation for line fb which is in the form y is equals to minus a half x plus two so now at this point we can say that the gradient of ea is equals to minus a half why are we saying so that is because ea is parallel to line fb uh, so now we're only left with c and then we have point a don't forget that so because we have point a we can substitute it in our equation and then we can find c right so if we sub a uh, which is made out of 4 and minus 6 we're gonna get minus 6 is equals to the gradient which is a half multiplied by x which is 4 plus c right so we have minus 6 is equals to uh, minus half of 4 that is minus 2 plus c so we take in uh, minus 2 to the other side we get minus 4 is equals to c so our equation becomes y is equals to uh, minus a half x minus 4 right uh, because we just figured out that uh, c is minus 4 and we have our equation for ea and then let's move to 3.4 3.4 and then 3.4.1 says let's find the size of theta right so we're looking for the size 
of theta so let's go back to our sketch again um here's theta here uh angle pba it's our theta right so we'll need to find the size of that angle um what is theta equals to let's let's look at that theta is equals to will be equals to this angle here plus uh this angle here right uh, because an exterior angle of a triangle is equals to the sum of two opposite interior so now we can see that theta is equals to angle c p b plus angle p c b so we have p c b right and then why are we seeing that exterior angle of a triangle is equals to uh, the sum of two opposite interior right so now we can uh, go ahead and try find the size of cpb and the size of pcb and then we would have theta so let's look at cpb cpb so cpb is here let me change the color so cpb is here right so how can we find cpb we know that cpb plus this angle here right uh, will be equals to 180 because they're on straight line so if we find this angle that i'm circling then we're gonna be able to find cpb but then how do we find that angle again we can use the inclination of line fb right so again we're saying that turn off theta is equals to uh, the gradient of a line we are interested in fb now so we're gonna have turn of that angle being equals to minus a half because that is the gradient of that line so now that angle will be equals to turn arc minus a half and that is equals to minus 29.5167 and you know if you get a negative angle you're supposed to add 180 and that will be equals to 150.4833 so this angle um cpb so cpb will be equals to 180 minus uh 150 point four eight three three uh which will be equals to twenty nine point five one six seven right uh now we can move to angle pcb so let's look at pcb so pcb uh let me i like it in green also so pcb is here this is pcb pcb will be close to this 45 degrees here right vertically opposite angle so we're saying that uh, pcb is equals to 45 degrees so now we can find theta theta is equals to the sum of the two which is gonna be 45 degrees plus 29.5167 uh, and that is all equals to 71.5167 0.5167 degrees uh, now let's move forward and find the length of bf uh, that's 3.4.2 so we want to find the length of uh, bf right we know that the length will be given by x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared right again in this case we have to decide which point we take in as the second and which point we take in as the first so we want the length of uh, bf let me just erase some stuff here so you'll realize that we don't have the coordinates of f so let's find the coordinates of f first so that we can find the length of bf so the coordinates of f uh, we know the x coordinate of f because it's a y intercept we can substitute uh, that we can substitute zero into the equation and find the y coordinate right so we're gonna have uh, y of f is equals to half of zero plus two so half of zero is zero plus two that is just two so now we have deduced that the coordinates of f is zero for the x and two for the y so let's take uh, point f as our second point and b as our first point right so here we're gonna have zero minus 
x of b which is 8 squared plus uh, y2 that will be 2 uh, minus minus 2 that will be plus 4 right squared and then if you put that in your calculator you're gonna get 4 uh, square root of 5 and then now we can move to 3.4.3 let's look at 3.4.3 it's saying we must find the area of a b f so let me just uh, highlight a b f so we have a b f a b f so we have our triangle a b f here right uh what is the formula for the area of a triangle uh the area of a triangle is given by a half side one multiplied by side two and then sine of the angle which angle the angle which the two sides send which right on a right angle triangle the two sides that you will usually use will be sandwiched in 90 degrees so that's why it's usually written as just half base times height but that is not always the case you can choose to use the other sides as long as you will take sign of the angle the sides sandwich right so here for this question i'm going to take side a b and side f b right so if i take those two sides the angle they'll be sandwiching is theta right i already have theta i already have f b i just need to find a b and then i will have the area of my triangle so now um fb we know fully well that fb is equal to 4 square root of 5 now let's find a b right so a b will be equals to uh, y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 so let's take b as our second point right so y of b uh, that is minus 2 minus y of a that will be minus minus 6 so we're just gonna have plus 6 here squared plus uh, x of b that is 8 minus x of a that is 4 squared and then uh, the length of a b is 4 square root of q so now we can say that the area of our triangle a b f will be close to half uh, side 1 uh, 4 square root of 5 right 4 square root of 5 multiplied by the other side 4 square root of 2 sine of the angle the sandwich right the sandwich theta and we just did use that the angle for theta is 71.5167 so we have sine of 71.5167 so when i do that i get 22 point eight units uh, squared right because it's an area and then let's move forward and do 3.5 3.5 says uh, let g be a point in the fourth quadrant such that a p b g is a parallelogram calculate the size of angle p a g so we are interested in angle p a p a g if we have coordinate g on the fourth quadrant such that a p b g is a parallelogram so let's go see how we can possibly do that so we have a p b and we need g such that a p b g is a parallelogram right so if g is somewhere here then we get our parallelogram so we are looking for PAG. So PAG, PAG is somewhere here, right? And then PAG is made up of BAG, which is this angle here, and PAC or PAB, which is um, the angle here, right? So if we break uh, that angle into two, we can find it using BAG and PAC. So let's pay our attention to BAG first so angle b a g so we are looking at uh, b a g this angle here this angle here that's what we're interested for now we're looking at b a g so if you pay close attention you will realize that b a g is supposed to be equals to angle theta right why are we saying they're supposed to be equals to angle theta p a g b is now a parallelogram so those angles will be alternate angles so now we can see p a g 
is equals to theta uh, not only is it equals to theta it will be equals to 71.5167 degrees right so we have found angle bag we can then look at angle pac so let's have pac here right so let me just uh, erase the information for angle uh, bag so that we can pay our attention to pac so pac is this one that is left in green right now so pac will be equals to 45 degrees why am i saying so let's look at the triangle pac right so let me just highlight triangle pac so here's triangle pac here in triangle pac angle cpa this angle here is 90 degrees right and then we already know that this angle here is 45 because is vertically opposite to this angle here that is 45 so we have 90 degrees we have 45 degrees we know that the angle should add up to 180 then angle pac should be equal to 45 degrees and angle pac is indeed 45 degrees so now we can see that angle pag is 45 degrees plus 71.5167 that will be equal to 116 0.5167 